gave it up. Welcome back to Finnegan's Farm. And welcome back to the YouTube channel. Our suckler herd has turned into a bit of a dairy herd. There's four cows here. Jack went to the mart and lost the run of himself. Bought a few funny, funny coloured cows. But uh, yeah, we'll explain the reason now. So Jack, them. just explain the logic behind these Frisians here. Well, it's going to save me and you a lot of work. That's very true, huh? very true. Be a long so, time buying the cattle there to feed them lads, mate. Mm. Yeah, so these are a replacement for the cows that have TV. Yeah. Uh, there's four of them here, they're going to look after eight calves. Yeah, yeah. And so two, far so good, they arrived yesterday evening. Yeah, I picked them up there, I bought them yesterday, brought them home yesterday evening, mm. put them in, put them set. And, now. and hold on, if we can catch this now. So we say a cow for two calves, and there clearly is two calves. So the, <laughs> we put them in this side. Yeah. We keep an eye on them, the camera. Keep an eye on them, the camera, yeah. But uh, it was very, fairly obvious when we come in this morning, because they all were on slats yesterday, dirty teeth. Yeah, yeah. And we come in today, BJ's, they were all Spins clean. Spins were so clean there, yeah. We, uh, we presume something was sucking. We didn't know how many calves were no, sucking, no, no. but something was. I don't doubt. There's definitely the, strong, the strongest calves seem to be sucking anyway. Yeah. Oh, look. A bit of hunger on them and no choice but to suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come in here and we have a lie back made. Yeah. There's a bit of a difference in even the look of the Frisians compared to their own. Like, yeah. There's an awful lot of meat in the back of that one. There's a bit, bit of a bag of bones here, but Skeletons that's just the like. way they are, isn't it? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be too big into them now. I know there's British Frisians and Holsteins. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. There's a great bag of milk. And they all have great bags of milk. All, you look there, the milk is oozing out a lot of them. Yeah. 223, I think her mother is 911 if I remember correctly. Yeah, bad luck. So she would have been bad luck. Right, we'll go across in here now. Yeah, we have a look in here. We have the bars up and they have their own little creep area. Yeah. So they're happy on, out. They're on ad lib meal now. Well, yeah. they will be from here on in. And straw, barley straw. Some people say, a lot of people say not to give young calves hay because it knots their stomach. I don't know, but we, we'll just go with the straw for the time yeah, being. They yeah. can eat a bit of silage out there if they like. But yeah. um, it's carbly rock blend. Great stuff. Really good mix. Um, it's a calf, calf, calf crunch, calf grower. Yeah. High, high, high protein, really good blend. I think 18% protein is what we looked up there. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, You'll no, see it there on the bag. Yeah, bag. Right side. So, um, yeah, plenty of noise. Plenty nice. They would like to be the neighbours now. They're probably giving out. But, uh, that won't last long. Should another week or two, another they'll be in the field. Yeah, yeah, Next yeah. week, Next week. we'll be hoping. It's hope, right. hope to Jesus. Everyone's hoping it this day. We had sad news today. The, yeah, the reactors uh, went. Went this morning. So. Yeah, so, well, it, it's good news because at least they're gone. They're gone. Now. So now. Six, six, 60 days from now, we'll be able to test. So 60 days. Oh, 60 days from when they're When they leave. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, so two months there, we'll test again. Test again. Test again. again. See how we Could be an ongoing thing, but sure, we just have to go with it. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Can't, we, can't, we can't do nothing to prevent it, so. No. We'll uh, keep going. So, exactly. they're the last cows, the calf there. That's everything calved now. Yeah, I'm happy to see the end of it. I'm sure you are too. Yeah. There's a few, a few long hiccups days towards the end there. Yeah, we, three sections. Yeah. But other than that. Live calves. No, we can't complain. When you're having 132 of them or 38 of them, I don't know what it was. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Glad to see it over, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks so much for Jack for the update, and we keep an eye on the TV and how it goes. And that's Calvin 2023, over and out. The main G has arrived, Mr. Hubble. How are we? Great. We're up here in WBD with a Massey. A Massey? We've only ever had two masses on the farm, and that was a long, long time ago. I'm gonna bring for a spin. It's only on demo, don't be panicking yet, but we have a keen interest on it. Funny story about the Massey is Joe came down here. This is probably our busiest time to be in WBD. It's all our mass show uh, rotavator parts, so we're trying to get parts out for planting, and this Massey was obviously sitting outside. That was fine, Joe came down, seen the Massey, Jesus, that's a lovely tractor. That's, that's nice now and dad came down a week later and goes just that's a nice tractor me and dad if you've seen their instagram i put up a photo uh had the crack with i farm we farm saying that he might convince the chef and yeah here i am sitting in a massey so 
Adrian, you might come visit us yet? Dad came home was saying to Joe, Cheers Joe, did you see the mass that's up there? Yeah, yeah, I actually, I noticed it myself and I liked it. So between the two of them then, they got on to Alan and uh, we're going to bring it for a demo. We're going to drive it on the road. Now, obviously the fields aren't ready yet, but we're just going to get a feel for it. It's new to us. All the uh, controls are new. I got a quick demo there on how to drive it. So I'm going to get it up the road and then hopefully in next week's video, we'll have a talk through the Massey and see all the new functions on it. It's a 400 horsepower tractor, so we're not stuck for power anyway. So it's basically the size of our Styres or your A430s. We'll go for a spin now and see what she's like. I'll commentate on me journey as it happens. Yeah. A little bit of a rev there. The bonnet actually looks a lot bigger from the, when you're sitting in it than when you're outside it. Very quiet. Very, very quiet. Oh, jeez. No. I just revved up me a little bit too much there. My own fault. Oh! There's the first few bumps. She took them well enough. This uh, track actually also has wheel weights. And she's sitting at 900, just like our own style at home. Similar enough size. I'd say the bonnet's just a little bit wider, maybe. Um, and there's 100 horsepower extra in this. Pack machine, plenty of power. And I'm sure we'd put her to test now if we get it into the field. Before I did collect tracks, I did do a bit of research just to get a few of the technical uh, values in the tractor and see what it actually is spec'd with. So there's a five ton linkage, front linkage, uh, double acting spool valve as well. Yeah, it's, it looks very strong from when you look at it at the front. The tractor sits at about 10 and a half uh, ton factory spec, so I don't know if this is any extras to that. I know it does it to wheel weights. You can get wheel weights as singles, doubles, or triples. It's in the 900, so it's not actually sitting outside the mud guard. Um, the guards are there as well but they're actually the widest part of the tractor so if you are putting on jib wheels that's where they come into uh, effect they don't really need to be on it at the minute but to leave the factory it's by law or something so that's why they're on it so then just a few of the cab features on the inside um, there's plenty of space for storage like you have your fridge this side you have your cup holders and um, the storage this side as well and there's plenty of space big cab obviously you have plenty of space either side of your dash, uh, you can see both wheels, which uh, is a massive thing when you're rotating, just see if your wheel slippage or what, if there's any big stones in your way, you can, you can have a glance either side. The control setup, I'm not familiar with yet. Uh, seems handy enough to figure out. I just need a few minutes just to do that. And yeah, then the screen, I need to go through the screen, I haven't got a chance to go through that yet. Sorry women now, just be ready for a run, but the big baby's coming through. Big lorry, big lorry. It doesn't feel unbelievably big on the road, like I know it's 400 horsepower, but you'd imagine they've, they've kept it fairly compact for the size, for the output and the size of the tractor. I can guarantee we will buy this tractor if this tractor has an air horn in it. I'm sure there's no one around. No. No, doesn't have it. Doesn't have it. It'll need a bit more persuasion now to buy it. If that had an air horn now, I would have just sold it to me. I would have just bought it. It's nearly home now. Uh, I'm gonna go into the yard now. She was staying in the farm for a few days and hopefully now I'd like to see a bit of I know we have our cases, we have a fast we have our John Deere. Why not bring a Massey in? We're not one fleet, we're not just the same tractor, same fleet, so I like a bit of diversification, especially in the modern world. You know what I mean? Hi, Bruce. What do you think of your new tractor? Oh, Bruce, he doesn't recognise it. Well, it's not good, he's walking away. Not a good start. Now, I've the tractor's lined up here. I'm just going to plonk it in the middle and just see how it looks. Oh, who parked? Like, why would you park the fast tractor? Put her in here beside the A430. Mm. Pretty shiny. Here, <laughs> wondering what's going on. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like red as it is. Never mind going massy red. <laughs> Loyal to the John Deere. Yeah, she doesn't look so bad. Fast track, Steyr, John Deere, Massey. 
John Deere, John Deere. Class. Case. So following on from last week's Bruce's birthday shout out, we have the balloon here again. We'll see who gave the names in on this week's video. So Sean Burke, who turned 13 on the 24th of March. Happy birthday, Sean. Uh, Keen McIntyre, who turns 13 and he's from Dunsany. That was sent in from his friend Killian Keaton on Instagram. So happy birthday, Keen. Uh, we have Sean from Sligo, who turns 12 on the 21st of March. So happy birthday, Sean. And then we also had pa Patrick Walsh, who turns 12 on Monday, and he reckons he's a better driver than John B. So John B, you may up your game. And this week's yurts and dirts are, our yurt is our stack of bales that I'll show you now that was done over the summer is officially gone. Um, John Shelburne would have draw, drawn all them. So thanks to Shelley for doing that. And, and then our dirt this week is obviously going to be TB. So we have our cows gone and we have our cows weaned onto our Frisian cattle. So that's it from this week's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, Oh my god. Oh, there's the air horn, Alex. So, for myself, the Massey, Alex, the Frisian Captain, and everyone at Finnegan's Farm, we'll talk to you all next week. Good luck.